Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I want to investigate if we can make an Enderman farm in the Nether now. The reason is the new warped forest biome got added in the Microsoft 16 update where Endermen spawn exclusively. First let's confirm the spawning conditions using Nemon's carpet mod. So let's place down a pink carpet and as we can see the only mob that is able to spawn in a warped forest is indeed the Enderman. Next let's try to find a suitable location for the Enderman farm. Technically it's possible to build it in a normal nether, but this would require a lot of effort because you would need to make a huge area spawn proof. So I'm using Master's mini hut mod if you would decide to build the Enderman farm above the lava lake. You would need to make everything within that yeah, sphere spawn proof. So there's a lot of blocks and there's also caves above that you might need to yeah, make spawn proof. So the best choice is again to go above the nether and build the farm there because if you would stand at y250 that despawn sphere would cover almost nothing below the bedrock. So now I did exactly that. I moved the despawn sphere to y250 so if we afk way up there then mobs can only spawn within that sphere and as you can see there's almost no overlap of any spawning spaces that you would have below the bedrock. And of course mobs can't spawn on top of bedrock. There's just one downside of building a farm at Y250. You won't get those ridiculous spawning rates like you could in the end dimension where you can build a farm really low in the world. But what we're doing here should work the same in the end dimension as well. So we got endermen spawning and they would track a named endermite. That range where the enderman would actually yeah, try to attack the enderman is actually 64 blocks. So it shouldn't be a problem to get more spawning spaces since that range is so high. And we're back in the nether dimension. I built up the farm and it works really well. As you can see all the endermen are rushing towards the endermite. And yeah, another account down there takes them out with a sharpness 5 and sweeping edge 3 netherite sword. Of course it also has some manning on it. It's getting automatically repaired. Yeah, and this works really well. In fact, the guy down there has a bit of issues to collect all the XP because it's so fast. You can make just as good of an Enderman farm in the Nether Dimension as you could in the End Dimension. And the effort is not so much higher. So of course you need a couple more spawning spaces, but that's very doable here. In fact, you could actually make the farm even faster by providing even more spawning spaces. So at the moment I got a radius of 49. First I actually had a radius of 60, it still worked well, all the endermen were running towards the endermite. But then I had an issue that I couldn't collect the XP balls anymore and the game started lagging. So I tried around for quite a while to find the perfect sweet spot where I get XP all the time, but not too much that the game would start lagging. And it seems like 49 blocks it is, the other form works best. Alright, then yeah, you might have noticed those endermen down there, that happens sometimes, uh, that they would get damaged and start teleporting, so they would pick a block within 32 by 32 blocks and then teleport down there. The, there the distance doesn't matter, so it could even be 100 blocks away like there on the bedrock, but it's actually not an issue since we have enough room under the mob cap. If we take a look at the top, the moment yeah, the mob cap is actually filled, but most of the time there's still room below the mob cap. And if some enemy teleport down there, sooner or later they will despawn and yeah, the farm still works as it should. As you can see, this guy still has a lot of XP balls around him. If you would really want to prevent the enemy teleporting down there, you could use the, yeah, the double carpet technique uh, down there as well and place... yeah this double carpet, but this would require quite a lot of effort, so you would need to go down here from the enderman spot uh, and then place carpet 32 blocks in each direction and then another layer on top. This would be around 8000 carpet you would need to place down to prevent any enderman teleporting, but it's really not necessary. Farm works just as well this way. Alright, so this should answer the question if you can make an efficient enderman farm in the nether now. In case you want to check this farm out, I will provide a world download. One note, I didn't plan it out correctly. There's a bit of nether waste biome there where pigmen would spawn, so I placed on some glass instead, of course. Uh, pick a biome where you got uh, this, the warp forest only, of course. Alright, but yeah, that's it. Hope you found this interesting. Thanks so much for watching. I'm invisible. There we go. <laughs> See you next time. Bye bye.